here, Virgos. This is going to be your monthly tarot reading for February 2017. And this is for Vir um, Virgos who are of the sun, moon, and rising signs. Um, as you can see, I've already pre-shuffled the cards just to um, save us some time from taking up too much time for the reading. So let's go ahead and get into it, Virgos. So where you currently are in the month of February, you have the Judgment card. So I'm getting that a lot of you are getting this call from the Divine to make some sort of decision when it comes to your values. So this could be, you know, your home, your family, your loved ones, some sort of stability. You're having to make that call about it, okay? Um, it could mean numerous of things for all of you. You all have your your own unique situations. But Spirit is calling you to pay attention to the things that you value in your life at this time, okay? Um, because you're getting this alarm from the universe to pay attention. It's really loud. It's It comes repetitively. It's just something that either you keep thinking about, you keep wondering about, you keep seeing something that relates to where you're, what you're dealing with. You might be hearing the same message over and over again. Take heed to that. That's spirit um, trying to send you something. For your challenge and your lesson, you have the Hermit card. So with the Hermit, I'm getting that you're, you're challenged by finding that clarity and that wisdom. It's like it's there for you. It's loud and clear, but it's like you're having a hard time with seeing it for what it is. It's like you don't want to take the time out or you're just avoiding taking the time out um, for looking at this situation a little bit deeper because the clarity is there. It's just, are you willing to see it for what it is? Are you gonna willing to take the time out to evaluate it and really look at it? Okay, because something is, is beckoning you, it's calling you to look at something, to do something, but it's like you're not wanting to look at it or you're just not finding the time to, not taking the time within yourself to really do it. Somehow it's challenging to you. Okay. Um, I believe that the Hermit card is the Virgo, Virgo's card in, in the Tarot. So it's like you're, it's something that you know you should do, but you just don't want to do it or you're you know, making every excuse possible or trying to keep yourself busy because you guys are usually busy people or you would like to keep yourself busy and hands on and focus on other things, especially when you're being challenged by something in your life. You'd like to switch your focus usually, um, you know, most Virgos that I know, that's usually their pattern. So that's um, the challenge and the lesson. For where your focus needs to be, you have the Nine of Swords. So your focus needs to be on this thing that you're worried about that's causing you the stress. You don't want to see. You don't want to look at it. Well, Spirit says you need to take a look at it. Take a step back because it's going to bother you. It's like you can't really run from it. It's like, it's like something that just won't go away. And no matter how much you try to fight it or deny it, it's going to keep popping up. So Spirit is telling you to just look at it. Stop running from it and just take a look at it. Um, your past influence of this situation is the Nine of Wands. So it's some type of difficult situation, something that... Um, it's like a, a difficult situation you just want to get it over with. Like, it's hard, and it's been a long time coming, and I've been pushed to this point, but it's kind of like you're trying to back away right now, even though you've been led up to this point to really listen to that calling, which you feel like it's too much for me. It's too much work. It's overwhelming. Now spirit is bringing it up to the surface, like, well, here's a resolution, or here's something to look at, but you refuse to because it's too much to look at. For your biggest strength you have is the Ten of Pentacles. So your biggest strength is going to be focusing on what you truly value. What it is that you really stand on. Things closest to you. People 
people closest to you. It's like focusing and that is your strength. The backbone is the people that really have your back. The solid foundations in your life. The people that see your worth, see your value, they're going to be your biggest strength. So it could be that your family is your biggest strength. Some type of companions, loved ones. The future that you're moving into, the energy that you're moving into is the will of fortune. So with the will of fortune, getting that inevitably it's like you're going to move in the right direction. No matter how much you fight this energy and don't want to look at it, spirit is going to turn the wheels around. You might be forced or something just might change where it might be a change of mind, a change of heart, how you're looking at things that where you finally get on board with spirit and just go with it and allow things to unfold as it's truly meant to rather than resisting the change in the movement that spirit is trying to get going the divine plan with whatever this is. So your suggested approach or action to take this month is the high priestess. So you know the truth. Deep down in your side, you know already. It's like you already have the enlightenment. You already have the truth. You're getting the call. And you know it won't go away. So it's like you need to walk in with that faith the truth of what it really is, you utilizing your intuition and guidance, it's already there. Like, you see the black and white. You see, you know, what it is on both ends. You can't deny it. You're in the middle of this because you see both sides of it. So it's like, what do I do? What am I being called to do? What am I being called to say? Whatever the calling is for you, you need to take heed to it because spirit is calling out to you so the shadow energy that you're not aware of is the nine of pentacles so you're not aware that there's this it's like this energy of stability you're not aware that that's what's on the other side of all of this it's like this fear of messing something up or losing out on something just never having, or I won't, or if I rock the boat too much. It's like you don't believe with the nine of swords. It's like you're telling yourself that this is going to ruin everything. Whatever I'm being called to do, whatever I'm being called to say, it's too much for me to bear. I don't want to look at it. But it's like there's something waiting to conclude itself on the other side, come to some type of completion, but you're refusing it you're refusing to look at it you don't want to see it but that's what you're not aware of that there's actually something here for you some type of happiness and joy on the other side of this for yourself then with the um, biggest hope and fear that you have this month is the four of wands so you are afraid of ruining some type of structure that you feel is there this energy of a foundation a structure that's been built could be between loved ones, a lover, friendships. You're afraid of that. But your biggest hope is that these foundations still stand and that they continue to build. That these people that have been there will still be here. Whatever you're being called to do, whatever the calling is for you, you want to know that these foundations are still going to be there. For the outcome, you have the Knight of Pentacles, which is an air sign person. Or earth sign, sorry, earth sign person such as yourself. So the possible outcome here is that there will be something given to you, something that you will take from this, something valuable, something that you can experience on the surface, something that you can see, something tangible, something believable. Once you come out of this dark period of your life, you're going to take something very valuable out of this. It's like one step at a time. It's not to be rushed or maybe this process has been a long one. Not just this month has been past months, previous months. You've been dealing with the same situation. And it's like finally you, you find the value within it. Something within it to take with you. All right. So that is your reading, Virgos. I do hope that this reading has resonated. Um, will bring you clarity. I send you guys lots of love and lots of light. 
If you would like your own personal readings, you can visit my website at waluchildreadings.com. Much love and light to you guys. Peace.